In this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, the package GMOIP to solve a linear programming problem. So for me to use uh, that package, I'll start by loading the package and I'll use uh, the command uh, library. And this command there, the library, then I type in the name of the package GMOIP and then I press enter. And uh, for you to use uh, a package, you would have to first install it. In my case, I had already installed this package. That's why I just went on straight to loading it. But if you have not yet installed it, you first have to go to packages, and then uh, you click on install, then type GMOIP, then install the package. After installing, then you go on and uh, use uh, the package there. So in this case, um, I have loaded the package now. This package helps us to solve uh, problems which are of the form maximize or minimize cx subject to ax less than or equals to b. The cx there would have the coefficients of uh, the objective function. The a there is a matrix of uh, the coefficients of uh, the constraints, and the b is the right hand side of uh, the constraints there. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to solve uh, the linear programming problem which is appearing on the right there and the linear programming problem is uh, maximize z which is equals to 4x1 plus 6x2 subject to 4x1 plus 3x2 less than or equals to 12 3x1 plus 4x2 less than or equals to 12 x1 x2 greater than or equals to 0. So this is the problem that I want to solve and I'll start by entering the matrix A there. So our matrix A is equals to, so I'll type in the command matrix, matrix, and uh, we are saying that uh, the matrix A is uh, the matrix of the coefficients of the objective function. So I'll just highlight there on the right there the coefficients that I'm talking about. So we have the matrix would have 4, 3, 3, 4. So it would be a 2 by 2 matrix. So I will type in the matrix there using the C command, and then enter the elements of uh, the matrix there. I have a four comma, and then three comma, and then a three comma, and then a four. Then I will go on and specify the number of uh, number of rows. Number of rows is two, and then specify that by row by row is equals to true so by row is equals to true by row equals to true that means that uh, the elements of the four three three four that i have uh, written there will be uh, filled into the matrix by row first so the first row would have four three then the second row would have three four there and then i press uh, enter and then i go on and um enter the matrix b there b so looking at the right hand side the problem that we have the b is uh, the right hand side of the constraints there the ones that i have highlighted there so b is equals to c and then we have uh, those elements uh, they are just a 12 and uh, 12 and uh, i press enter and then uh, the objective uh, the coefficient of the objective function there. So I'll say equals to and is equals to C. And uh, I have highlighted there the objective function is set is equals to 4x1 plus 6x2. So our objective coefficient there will be 4 and 6. So we have 4 and uh, yes, 6 there. So that's those are the coefficients of the objective function, the 4 and 6. And then after entering this, we can now go on and uh, now try to solve this using the graphical method. So what I will do, I will use uh, the command plot plot uh, polytop on this one here. And uh, we are saying of uh, the matrix A and uh, on the right hand side of the coefficient b and looking at uh, the objective function that we have just entered 
and uh, the crit there. This is the command of saying, are we maximizing or minimizing? So I open quotations there, and I say that we are maximizing. If it's a minimization problem, then you put the crit there as uh, min. Then I go on and um, say plot optimum, so that the optimum solution would be plotted in this one. Plot optimum, and I type it as uh, true. So plot optimum true, and uh, I will need to plot the coordinates of uh, the corner points of uh, the objective function. And to have the corner points label there, I'll put on labels, and I'll put the labels there as uh, then open quotations, then I say coord. So this, what this will do is um, it will plot up the coordinates of the corner points of uh, the objective function that we, that we have. So when I'm done now, I can now go on and uh, click on enter. So it's a plotting, and uh, that's the solution there, which is appearing now on the right there. Let me just uh, zoom it a bit. Okay. So what we are having there, we are having the corner points. We have the first one there, a 0, 0, and then a 3, 0, and then a 1.71 and 1.71 and the point zero three. The point zero three is indicated by a red dot. It's indicating that that is the optimal solution. So the optimal solution occurs at the point x1 equals to zero and x2 equals to three. And uh, the optimal solution will be set equal to 18, which is uh, highlighted on the top there. So it has drawn the graph has drawn the feasible region and it has uh, labeled the corner points of the feasible region. So this is uh, the solution using uh, the plot polytop command. This command can also be used to solve uh, integer programming problems, but uh, for integer programming problems, I will look at it in another tutorial where I will look at uh, the variables x1 and x2 being uh, integers.